Hello everyone, this is Bobo the Vulture, <coughs> and this is a uh, brief let's play of Don't Shoot the Puppy. Basically, I just hadn't sat down and done a long recording session in a while, and so I wanted to do one, because otherwise my channel is going to have absolutely nothing on it for a while. The objective is to not shoot the puppy. The way that you trigger the gun to shoot the puppy is by essentially doing anything with your mouse during the level. So you have to set your mouse right there, and then click. Bye, puppy. I'll see you later. You're walking over to Happy Face Land. Hey, all right. So that was level one done. All right. Here's level two. Puppy's moving a little slower. That's odd. Oh well. Whatever works for the puppy. You know, I didn't realize that I've been playing Don't Shoot the Puppy all my life, and winning. I'm undefeated at Don't Shoot the Puppy in real life. I've never shot a... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I bet this is actually some variety of scam. See, yeah, the puppy's still walking away in the background. Huh. I am way smarter than you, RRRR, that's 5Rs.com. Unless their whole objective with hosting this game was to uh, make me say that on a uh, on a YouTube channel. What? No, keep going, puppy. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, you you do it. You go on, puppy. You'll be okay. Who's your good puppy? Oh yeah, that's your good puppy. Keep going, puppy. It's okay. It's okay, puppy. Oh, the puppy. All right. So the puppy's gone, yeah. <clears throat> well, no, just basically, uh, I guess, what, last week, um, I was spending most of my uh, playing game time uh, reviewing Forza Horizon. Eternal Suffering? Well, it is not my job to prevent the puppy from feeling eternal suffering. It's my job merely to not shoot the puppy. Hey, you got the ball. Oh, look, he got the ball. He's so happy. Oh, somebody play catch with the puppy. Yeah, so that last puppy, uh, you know, if it went to eternal suffering through my inaction, who's to say that it wouldn't have gone to eternal suffering in hell for sins it committed as a puppy if I shot it before it had a chance to repent? So, yeah. And who am I to judge whether the puppy was going to eternal suffering or not? Might have been an ironically uh, placed sign. No. Uh -oh. Did the level actually start? I attempted to click with my mouse. This is the problem. I have a wireless mouse that doesn't click very well all the time. There it goes. Oh no, he overthrew the puppy. The puppy's got to go back and get it. Puppy. But yeah, last week I, uh, what did I do? Yeah, no, I was playing Forza Horizon so that I could write a review of it. Um, in case you were wondering, um, fun enough game, but uh, it's something that they started up with in Forza 4 that really, that, that annoys me as a concept but the way it got pushed even harder in Forza Horizon and it, like frustrated me even more. And that is the token system. Basically, you can buy a car with credits that you earn in game, or you can spend Xbox points, aka real money, and buy the car, um, which would be annoying just by itself. But at least you could sort of say, ah, eh, you know, it's. It gives the game that sort of freemium vibe, you know, like those games that people play online or on Facebook or something like that, where, like, you can play the game for free, but if you want all of the goodies, um, or... Oh, look, it's a tiny puppy. Oh, we can skip this level. Oh, I bet if we went over there and tried to hit the skip the level button, it would shoot the puppy. I'm on to you, game. Ha! <laughs> you think you got me? You don't got me. Um, 
but it sort of gives that sort of freemium feel where like oh you can play the game for free but if you want all the goodies and ingredients and stuff like that then you need to pay money periodically to get all these extra bits and pieces oh my icon is a hammer now but there's a nail in the way of the puppy what are we gonna do we're gonna remember that the puppy exists in three dimensions we're only looking at the two-dimensional expression of the puppy's world. The puppy can walk around the nail. It's fine. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. And freemium game, I find those kind of annoying. But at least you can... Uh-oh, something happened to my screen. Oh, no. Uh, somewhere back there behind this veil of darkness. I'm sure the puppy's heading towards the puppy's goal. It'll be fine. <clears throat> but at least with the freemium model, it's like, well, okay, so but at least you can play the game free. With Forza Horizon, though, hey, there's no, there's no gun. I bet if you move the mouse now, the puppy would still get shot somehow. But with Forza Horizon, it still costs like 60 bucks or whatever it is. Or 70. How much do new Xbox games cost now? Duh. Whatever. But, um... Ah, see, I clicked the button like about five or six seconds before that. And it was trying to convince you, oh, it didn't register the click, so you click again. See? This don't shoot the puppy game is tricky. It's a tricksy little game. Five, four, three, two, one. And now the puppy goes. Were we expecting something bad to happen at the end of the countdown? I don't know. But yeah, it's a freemium game, except that you have to pay 70 bucks or whatever it is, regardless. And then you're expected to pay even more money. Um, now, like I said, you can play the games using, you know, actual credits that you earn, but there are... <gasps> Dream puppy, I believe you can reach the stage aside. Do -do 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 Dream puppy. Yeah, so that's a dream puppy. Dream puppy has now arrived on our world. You know, I believe I was recently uh, watching an RPG somebody was doing that was based on something like this. Hmm. That's one kind of strange puppy, huh? Yeah? Anyhow. But yeah, I was playing all that, and... Uh, and I've just... I've been lacking, you know, sort of... Uh, been lacking in energy and motivation a lot recently. Um, I think it's just something that sort of happens to me around this time every year. Like, as soon as the major holidays start rolling around, like Thanksgiving, um, or sorry, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, that sort of span right there. Um, I don't know what it is. It just sort of, uh, it drains me a little bit. This puppy, puppy sure isn't going very quickly, is it? Man, puppy, come on. Come on, come on, puppy. Ah, dear. And so, yeah, you know. Sorry for, for that, you folks, that uh, might have been interested in uh, seeing a lot more uh, Bobo content. But it's just, yeah, just is what it is. Congratulations, you've won. So there you go. And I completed the game in 11 minutes, 31 seconds. So that's what happens when you play through the game. And this is the ending scene. Congratulations, you won. So let's play it again and not win.
Oh. Puppy Dust. Remember the name. Puppy Dust. So, yeah. That's what happens when uh, you actually shoot the puppy. The puppy turns into like little scattery pieces and stuff. But don't worry, folks. I'm sure that the puppy is actually fine. And not, you know, puppy pieces of puppy power. I'm also trying a new microphone in this uh, particular recording. It's probably a lot stronger than uh, the one that I ordinarily use. We'll see whether or not that's still okay. I don't know, folks. I just didn't feel like wearing the giant headset that kind of annoys my ears after a while. Um, and this is a headset I usually give to other people when they're LPing with me. But um, I'm doing this one by myself. Yeah. So we'll see whether or not this one works. How's that? But yeah, folks, this is... Uh, this is Bobo the Vulture. This is uh, Let's Play Don't Shoot the Puppy. Just wanted a little something quick to be able to put on the channel so the people, you know, would be able to uh, to know that I was still here and that life was still going on. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye now.